Hi there, in this video I'm just going to quickly take you through the animation uh, capability within ArcGIS Pro. So here I am in what version is it? Uh, 273. To get the animation uh, menu functions up tab you have to go to view, go to the view tab and then you'll see animation add. What I want to do is create a little animation just, just with some uh, a simple map I've got here and I've got some uh, buildings data from um, Microsoft, the, the, the free data. So to get cracking with the animation, what, what you do is you, you, you create a, an animation you can, you can have sort of multiple going at the same time, uh, but we'll just create one and, 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 and work with that. So hit plus to create the animation. Uh, you, you can call it um, what, whatever you like. And then once you've done that, you bring up the timeline if it's not already there. So this is the timeline. Uh, there's be, for, for those familiar with things like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut, they'll, they'll obviously be, uh, or Movie Maker, that sort of thing. There'll be some familiarity here. I want, this is where I want to start at this sort of zoomed out view. So I create what's called the keyframe and the animation will be generated from keyframe to keyframe effectively. So what, what I want to do is I've got this sort of view to start off with and then I'm going to zoom in all the way to these buildings. So that sort of fit, you know fills the screen like that, the map, and I create another keyframe. So that's where I'm going to effectively zoom into. You'll, you'll see these um, numbers and, and the line that comes from it that's that's your your path of your animation that's the route it's taken so that's this these buttons up here and you can just show um, various aspects like just the path for example uh, so it just draws the line showing you where you, your animation is going the direction etc and the passing keyframes obviously say that's that's number two so that number two reference is there uh, so, so you can turn, you can show where that is, and then you can um, do some editing if if you wish. Uh, but I'm just going to um, uh, just carry on, sort of zooming in to a particular area. Let's do this. Zoom in like that, really close, and then I'll create another keyframe. So you can see down in the timeline here, I'm slowly sort of building up this uh, um, animation. Um, uh, if I and and if I do use this edit button here, I can I can move the these this uh, sort of location of where three is going. For example, let's put it in the center of this area here. So you can edit like that uh, if if you wish. So that will be where the keyframe will focus on. It's going to zoom in and pan to that um, position three. A right hand mouse click can explore or sort of get rid of that. turn that off, turn off the path and just sort of clear the decks a bit. So th th that's a sort of very quick way to just generate your your animation. There's a few uh, additional features such as t titling, text, uh, logos and etc. that you can put on. So we could, uh, from this uh, drop down, we could add an image like a logo, we could add copyright text, put a watermark across it, and various things so just just have a have a play with with that so for example let's do a copyright on the lower left so it'll put it there uh, and and with some default text so I'll I'll accept that text just click across so it, it'll it'll stay there um, th throughout the animation from that point so if I see the little red bar there if I drag that back you'll see the animation play. But I don't like the way the copyright actually appears um, halfway through the video. So I'm going to click on copyright and just drag it to the, back to the beginning. And I'm going to click on copyright where it ends. You see the diamond icon and drag it to the next keyframe. So now copyright appears throughout the whole of the video. And I can see what it's like because I can I could just uh, you know scroll back and forth or I can just hit play 
Let's see what it looks like. And there it goes. And it goes in on that building. So that's that's where we are at the moment. Like I said, we could we could also um, add sort of titling. There's some fancy graphics here for titling, etc. And, and and you can just work work with those as you see fit. You can also change the way the uh, keyframe works into another keyframe. You see, it's like this hop, this, this icon. You could put a different um, sort of um, process, uh, so you can alter the way things uh, these keyframes go from one to the next. So, for example, what a path might immediately cut between keyframes, so you could use stepped. So that's a sort of almost like a transition setting if you're familiar with um, video editing software. Uh, in order to alter items that you put on the, on here, for example, copyright text or logos, etc., you can uh, go to the anim the uh, animation properties, and and then so that's there. I was just looking for it properties, and here you'll see this sort of breakdown of everything really. And you can very quickly change things. Uh, so overlays, I've got the copyright text, but I could click on edit and change that to whatever I want, my copyright. And then that just edits, actually I put a return in, didn't I? And then you've got, my, so you can alter, alter it like that. And uh, and also alter the, um, the sort of position and sort of way, where you want it, let's put it in the middle. Um, top left for example but it'll always um, stay there and if I click adjust position anyway I can just drag it to precisely and this this is the same for text and for logos any images anything you put on here you can just drag it where, where you want and once you've got it and anything like this if you've got a mouse wheel as I scroll the mouse wheel it'll alter and scale up the actual uh, text that's in that box or the graphic that you got from the logo so the mouse wheel is um, pretty pretty handy, um, and then click adjust position again. Now that I'm all done, and then um, the, the really the last thing to, to do. The, I mean, there's a few other buttons and, and 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 things to press. I suppose one an interesting one might be import import. So for example, if you've already got bookmarks in your system, you can load uh, bookmarks, and it will just create keyframes all on the bottom here for you. And also time slider. So if you've got time slider active, it all um, it could it could use your time slider. So as time changes and your map changes, uh, you could have that as keyframes. So that, that's pretty nifty actually. But let's just go straight to um, publishing the animation. So I hit the movie export button. There's some various uh, presets already defined, including you can make a, 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 a GIF if you wanted. I'll just leave it on that. Uh, there's a couple of settings about the, about the uh, number of frames you want to process. Also, if there's any particular movie settings, um, but we're just going to make this C temp map AVI. Uh, it's fine by me. And then um, let's uh, um, prepare for export. So the export's finished. Let's hit play the video. And there's the video. And yeah, I've just got it on repeat, so it'll do it. But anyway, I've just defaulted to map AVI, but you can see the copyright there in the middle. And but it's very smooth, and um, and there you have it. I hope you uh, find that useful. Uh, it's just a quick introduction, really, but should should get you going on uh, uh, on your animation projects. Thank you very much.